All right, boys, back at it again with the old roots. We decided this weekend just to have a mellow one and invite a whole bunch of people. We got a guy on a KTM 450 with dual purpose tires on and mirrors. <laughs> uh, we also have a few other riders that are joining us today that are quite new, so to show them the ropes. Just let them enjoy enduro. I don't think we're gonna peach them that much. And uh, what else are we doing? Are oh, we wearing the we're wearing the brand new 4.5 baby blue, and we're using the uh, old 2.5 uh, Liet Liet gloves. Ask these things. A bit tight, but they're good. Where's old? Um, where's Nico? Jeez, Nico's in front. Nah, Nico's, Nico's operating. First time for Nico to do an enduro and the man's, man's just there in front. Just leading the pack somewhat. Nah, this man's operating. Oh, I spoke a bit too soon. Are you alright? Are you alright? No. That clutch is slipping or something. I really don't want to get my boots wet. I know that sounds mean. Yeah? <laughs> no, no bulky. Well done. <laughs> nah, I told him to suss at the bottom. Oh fuck. Ah, oh, he's got it. You handled that well, dude. Normally people flip or they fall over backwards. Yeah, so momentum's... So try to go fast, dude. You wanna try it? I'm scared that if I get to the top, I'm gonna. Okay, do you want me to take it up? Sure. This gearing of yours is ugly long, dude. I think if you. If you had to change your sprocket ratio. It'll be a lot easier to manage because yeah. it's a bit long. So, oh no. Now nah, that man's a champ, dude. That looks a level 12 paladin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Big shamrock fire uncle. Try not move him. Ah, uh, don't just wait in case something's broken, dude. Just feel if something's broken. Yeah, just feel if you feel right. Don't move. Yeah, you hit yeah, your head quite high. Yeah, it's a from the hill. Awesome. Do you know where? Do you know where you are? I was you guys. <laughs> That's like a pretty good answer. Yeah, <laughs> no, he's fine. The pupils are all right. That's fine. The pupils were dilated and it might have been a concussion. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, worried I'm about. Okay. I okay. come around. <laughs> Shame, sorry about that. I thought it was Daryl again, dude. I was like, Daryl, why? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking, dude. I was confused, I didn't know whose feet it were, I thought it was a bird, and like it says the bird's bike. What's going on? I thought it was you as well. I started getting happy. 
Are you married? Yes, I am. Fuck, I feel sorry for your wife. Eh? <laughs> you can snort. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you probably snort. Really, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Maniac, guys. Yeah, what yeah. happened, man? Came down here. And then I don't want it done. And you snort all you. the barges. Hey, man, thanks for being here. here eh? <laughs> Appreciate it, eh? Sure. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Well, we can blame like somebody else. Who should we blame? Right, so we loaded him in a bucky and loaded his bike on the trailer and they're busy taking him back to meet his wife halfway or like a garage and then um, she's going to take him to the hospital just to get a scan done and just make sure everything is okay. He was out for quite a bit, a whole minute. It's quite unwell, but at least he's fine and nothing was broken. Uh, he's a strong, resilient man, I'm not going to lie. That man... That man can ride, though, as well. Um, oh, Peach, oh, Peach Nico. <sighs> you guys can't say that I have a boring channel. I bring you guys entertainment. Near, near death situations. Broken leg to unwell. <laughs>